start this off, I'm going to bring in the zonker tape. This is just flexible lead tape with an adhesive backing. And I've cut this to about half the length of the hook shank. I'm going to peel off the backing. And as I attach this to the hook, I want to make sure that I start it far enough back behind the eye of the hook that I have space to tie off material there. So I'm going to try to leave about an eighth of an inch. The other thing with this pattern is I want to keel it so that the hook rides up. So I'm going to take two or three good wraps of the zonker tape here. And then when I form that keel, once I get this to bite on the hook, once I form that keel, I'm going to make sure I form it on the top of the hook shank. So I'm going to take one more good wrap. I'm going to fold this probably about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to come back and trim it. I'm going to come down, fold up and over it again. Give it a good solid tight squeeze under the hook shank. After I have that there, I'm going to bring in a pair of my old dull scissors. And I'm going to cut this at a taper that just kind of makes it look like the belly of a, a minnow or a bait fish. So a little bit thicker in the front and then taper down to a skinny bit in the back. Rotate that right side up. I have two bobbins set up and threaded. So I have one with red, which is going to be my back color, and then one with black. This is going to be a black zonker. This is a size 8, so I'm going to use uh, medium mylar tubing. For my fur, I'm actually going to be using pine squirrel strips. So I'm going to come in on the back here, attach that red thread to the hook shank. I have a little slice of my mylar tubing and try to ease this process. I'm going to cut it at about two lengths of the hook shank and I'm going to fray out the back side far enough to where I can slide this back and so the front of that tube is just behind the eye of the hook. So once again I'm going to use the tips of my scissors here, old scissors, just to kind of come in here, pick these fibers apart and fray them out a little bit. Then I'm going to slide that over my body and go all the way back to where those frays are sticking over the red thread. Simply I'm going to come in, catch it with the thread, and it might slip and turn a little bit. That's all right. Just give it a squeeze. Lay down probably four or five snug wraps. Now this step I might do a little bit differently, but I have my zonker strip pre-cut already. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish out the steps with the red thread right now and get that bobbin out of the way. So I have this cut about two lengths of the hook shank. I'm going to come in, I pick my location where I want this to hit, and I want that strip to extend a little bit past the eye of the hook. Very simply, I'm going to moisten my fingers and just part that thread. Now I do want the tip of this hook to go through the first strip. So at this point, I'm going to release it from the bobbin. I'm going to take the point of the hook, I'm going to punch it through the hide, slide it down to where I want it, and then return that to the vise. So once I slide that down, I'm going to make sure that's nice and snug. If you need to moisten your fingers one more time, go ahead and moisten them. Part that fur. Grab that strip right there, throw down four or five wraps, and then very simply, I'm going to throw in a half hitch or two here to hold this in place. So I'm going to cut the thread there, and before I pull that pine squirrel fur back and in place, very simply going to take a bodkin here and I'm going to put a little drop of zappa gap down, kind of lock this in place. Put it down on the top, put it on the bottom. And I'm just going to kind of set this strip off and out of the way. So I'm bringing my other bobbin, thread it up with the black here, and I can kind of feel where the eye of this hook is. So I'm going to catch this right in front of that lead body. Secure it with probably five or six wraps. Snip off the excess and then just take my index finger and thumb and splay these fibers out so they're a little easier for me to get a handle on. 
So I'm gonna push them back. Once again, come in with some dull scissors, not your nice scissors. And we're gonna snip these off and mostly out of the way. So once I got them trimmed down to a reasonable length, come in with the thread, catch them, collapse them, and anchor that down. Now I left this strip a little bit long for this reason. Now I can pull this forward and I'm going to part that for so it sits just about right behind the eye of the hook. Stick my tips and my scissors in there if need be. Once again moisten my fingers. Pull it nice and tight and snug and come up over the top of it. Catch it with probably three or four firm wraps. And then come in and snip off the excess. So I'm going to moisten my fingers there. I've got that little tag of skin and I actually like that. That allows my thread to kind of catch it and really lock it down. Throw down some more wraps. We've got one step left here. So for this step, I'm actually going to rotate this upside down. I'm going to take a piece of the pine squirrel strip and I'm going to take what's going to amount to about a pinch. It's going to be about the width of my index finger and thumb. I'm going to snip that off. And I'm going to bring it right in here on the bottom side. My wraps, I'm right-handed. My wraps are going to take that thread and the fur kind of down and over the back. So I'm going to start this clump a little bit closer on my side of the hook. And as I wrap over it, that pressure of the thread wrap is naturally going to kind of take it that way and splay it out a little bit. Double check it. I want to lay it out fairly evenly on each side. I'll throw down a couple wraps to hold it in place. Come near with my scissors. Snip off the excess. There's some stray furs there. Once again, you can moisten your fingers. Kind of push them back and out of the way. I'm going to stick the nose of my bobbin in there. I'm starting at the front, I'm going to lock these down and work to the back. So everything's nice and snug. Take it, return that thread right behind the eye of the hook. Come in, wet finish it by hand or with your tool. Either way is fine. Pull that snug. 